Hi guys, this is Sarah from Sarah Jane Design and this is my second YouTube video. Today we're going to be learning how to make a very simple and quick hot buttered rum recipe. It's perfect for fall. It's one of my favorite cold weather beverages. For this recipe you'll need your favorite mug, some unsalted butter, utensils including a butter knife, a spoon, and a measuring spoon, something to boil water in like a tea kettle or saucepan, dark rum, brown sugar, spices including nutmeg and cinnamon, and optionally milk, a frother, and a small pitcher. So now that we have our ingredients, first thing we're going to want to do is pick out one of our favorite mugs. And I'm going to use this one because I just need a little boost today. Then take approximately one pat of butter and add it to your mug. Then what you'll want to do is add your brown sugar. You can use a golden brown sugar or dark brown sugar. This is, happens to be a golden. That's what I have in the house. No big deal. Um, again, I don't really measure, but I would say a good general rule would be about three teaspoons. Three teaspoons, maybe um, one tablespoon. Oh wait, that's equivalent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so after the sugar, we'll add our spices. And some people like to use uh, nutmeg or cinnamon and even allspice, but in this case, I'm going to uh, stick with nutmeg and cinnamon. To me, these are kind of the classics for a hot buttered rum. And again, I just add a couple dashes. You know, some people like uh, more or less uh, spice. It's really up to you, to your taste. So after the brown sugar, we'll add our rum. I prefer to use a nice dark rum like Bacardi and Yeho. It's really kind of on the thicker and richer side. So a shot of alcohol is technically about one and a half ounces. Some people say two for a larger shot. Um, again, I'm winging it here, people. I, I, uh, I can usually estimate it pretty well. But again, more or less to taste, it's up to you. And finally, we'll add our hot water. Um, I'm gonna just set this on the stove, get it to a quick boil, and then we'll pour it in. All right, so let's add our water. We only need about a half a cup, or you know, however full you'd like to, to fill your mug. Of course, I like to leave a little bit of room for a garnish or some foamed milk. So this next step is optional. The classic buttered rum recipe doesn't call for foamed milk, but I thought I'd try something a little different here. We take our milk and we'll pour it into a saucepan, which I'll do on the stove, and probably about um, maybe a quarter cup would be totally sufficient. All right, so I've steamed my milk, or actually just really just heated it up on the stove and poured it back into my container. And I have this handy dandy little frother that I picked up at Ikea for like two bucks. Very handy. So now I'm just gonna froth my milk. And you wanna make sure when you're doing this that you have it in a container that is tall enough so the milk doesn't go flying everywhere. Okay. So let's pour a little bit of this Frothy goodness. Okay, so lastly, we'll just add our garnish. And for garnish, you can add anything that looks pretty and jazzes up your, your hot buttered a little bit. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use some more of my spices just to give it a little contrast and Aroma. Aroma. <laughs> I 
but you could also add a cinnamon stick or a vanilla bean. So there you have it guys, a very easy and delicious winter or fall beverage that might just knock your socks off. And it tastes great too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say something funny about it. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you like your mugs to do? I'm gonna use this one because